The theme of organic expressions of consciousness and synthetic expressions of consciousness is extensive within this reality. Not only has it been a guiding force in our past, but it will reach its peak during the age of Aquarius. And as awakening beings, it is crucial to become aware of these organic and synthetic expressions in order to evolve. So today I will be explaining very key concepts regarding organic and synthetic expressions of what our human evolution looked like in order for you to master spiritual discernment. And at the end of this video, I will be giving a real life example of the tactic that was used in our recent past. In my video, How to Evolve Spiritually for Self Mastery, I explain how every energy has two forms of expression, an exalted form and a detrimental form. Along those same lines, there are organic forms of evolution and more synthetic forms that imitate evolutionary pathways. The shadow side of the age of Aquarius brings technological revolution, the promise of robust virtual realities, leading breakthroughs in transhumanism and groundbreaking advancements in artificial intelligence that can only be perceived as a pathway to human evolution, to the untrained eye. When in reality, all of the above mentioned categories are hallmarks of a degenerating pathway. But why would that be the case? Wouldn't these advancements look like the natural and organic development in consciousness? It would be natural for us to assume that this is what evolution would look like, especially since we are already reliant on technology in our everyday life. It would be hard for us to conceive of methods and modalities that have the power to heal through frequency alone or through the laws of quantum entanglement. It would still be even harder for us to realize that we are an organic form of technology itself. Our consciousness could be awakened to a point where we were in so much internal and external alignment that we could bilocate. We could regenerate our physical vessel by chanting to it or use specific sounds to heal it. We could communicate through telepathy. The list goes on. There's technology that can purify the ocean like that. There's organic elements that can provide abundant and effortless electricity. For every new breakthrough in technology that we see, there's actually a more effective and spiritual version that is in alignment with the consciousness being suppressed, including the true abilities of our own mind. So we have organic pathways that lead to genuine evolution of consciousness through the laws of quantum physics, through technology that is in harmony with these laws and utilizes them, through healing our mind-body connection, and through raising our level of being in order to unlock more of our organic technology. And then we have synthetic pathways that imitate true evolution and even pass itself off as trying to help humanity, such as putting microchips in your brain. Side note, if you think robotic sounding tech guys that are obsessed with putting microchips in your brain are an actual savior to humanity, it's gonna take a dark night of the soul to see yourself out of that one. Second side note, if you think robotic sounding tech guys that are obsessed with putting microchips in our brain are actually well-meaning and have very pure intentions simply because they want to warn you about other people that want to do the same thing, you're down a wormhole called controlled opposition. Humanity doesn't need microchips in their brain. They need discernment. The reason they need discernment is so that they can stop admiring people who want to put microchips in their brains. Transhumanism is always going to come under the guise that it's helping humanity and that it's progressing our species, when in reality, it's disconnecting us from our evolutionary potential by leading us away from understanding the true power of our consciousness and its impact on the material world. In fact, there's been an artificial intelligence tone hovering over many things in an attempt to get our minds already in the perspective that everything is synthetic. The perspective that this planet is merely a simulation has even recently become the new coolest trend. That even the multiverse is just a simulation. There is a way to be in harmony with the holographic nature of this universe without taking on the synthetic perspective that all of existence is an artificial assimilation. Even if we are in an experience that meets the criteria for being a simulation, the AI mentality wants us to strongly resonate with it in an effort to invalidate Mother Earth as a sentient and ascending being, as well as all organic life. Now let's get dicey. There's an organic expression of integrating the energy of both genders, but it's not done from a space of rejection of gender itself, nor is it done by merging human with robot. I can say this because I'm gay. 
The synthetic expression of evolution is trying to deny gender and confuse people by acting like gender is an outdated model. If you can get people to negate gender, then you can cut them off from their creative life force. Because sexuality is a manifestation of our creator energy. This was known so well in Eastern spirituality that they even equated sexuality with the creative center known as the sacral chakra. But sexuality being a manifestation of creative energy goes even further back than that. It emanates from the very source of this universe. And if you can get people to disown their creative energy, then you are one step closer to getting them to accept singularity. And because of the complexity of this subject, portions of the conscious community have lumped homosexuality in with the transhumanism movement as though homosexuality is a gateway drug to putting microchips in your brain or just even becoming genderless. Although this analysis is thoroughly ignorant, in all fairness, the reason why this perception exists is because an organic expression of consciousness, such as homosexuality, is being used as a part of a movement that is attempting to pass itself off as organic. What I mean by that is, there is a strong push to make us genderless by artificial intelligence. And if a person doesn't have a high level of discernment, then they could fall into fear of homosexuality being a part of that itinerary. If you'd like to know more about feminine and masculine energy, as well as the higher dimensional role of homosexuality, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video explaining this concept in depth. One could integrate the energies of genders, but they can't do it from a space of rejecting gender. And even then, integrating these energies won't mean that you are without gender, which is why you see all of the avatars that we revere depicted as androgynous. It's because enlightenment is the equilibrium of energy within these two genders. Alchemy is entirely the art of attaining equilibrium between these two energies, as that is crucial for spiritual sovereignty. So there's this synthetic energy that's trying to portray itself as being above gender, only it's coming from a place of denial. And not only that, it's ultimately coming from a hatred towards gender, its own and the opposite. And on the flip side, you have as a part of our organic evolution, people raising their consciousness to the degree that they are integrating and balancing the energies of gender. And on the external, that's going to look different for everyone, since everyone is a unique snowflake and expression of consciousness. To further complicate this whole matter, you have crystal children starseeds incarnating right now who are higher dimensional beings that have straight up androgynous vibes. So you have never seen the theme of organic and synthetic expressions play out to the extreme that we are currently seeing it play out than when it comes to gender, because there's literally organic and synthetic expressions of each side by side during this acceleration of awakening. To fully illustrate the dynamic of organic and synthetic expressions both simultaneously existing, shall we go for broke and choose a highly inflammatory topic such as Black Lives Matter? Now, several people in the conscious community were quick to point out that the movement was a clear sign of social engineering. We quickly saw through the ways that hostility was intentionally being provoked in order to manipulate the collective. However, what was not so obvious or present was the acknowledgement that there were straight up deep organic and ancestral wounds that needed to come up for healing, no matter if it was done through a synthetic means. It's a sad day when conscious individuals allow themselves to be polarized to the extent that they cannot have empathy into their fellow humans' unique challenges that each of us have. One does not even need intuitive abilities to do this. We can just put ourselves in someone else's shoes. Do you see the subtlety here? You don't have to play into a movement in order to acknowledge that there are organic and ancestral wounds still in our collective psyche that are being provoked to the surface for more healing, even if it's being done in a synthetic, intentional, and strategic way. For instance, when division and conflict are intentionally staged by the powers that be, there is already a vibrational match to division and conflict within humanity itself. They are tapping into the wounds that are already held inside the collective psyche. However, despite having a vibrational match to corresponding traumas, we can still use our free will to determine where we go with this. Will we deny there's a deep trauma in need of healing? Or will we move it in the direction of consciousness by acknowledging it? 
In a backhanded way, we can look at this as almost pointing us to what is still seeking resolution in the collective psyche. So there is ancestral wounds held in the collective's emotional body. And there is also intentional divide and conquer tactics happening in the external at the same time. If we don't cultivate the ability to recognize the genuine and organic aspects inside the manufactured chaos, we can succumb to the pitfall of believing that acknowledging one another's unique struggles and challenges solely serve these forces agenda with no benefits to be reaped for humanity and no aspects that are in need of reclaiming. So the question becomes, can you identify the organic elements within the synthetic means? Or will you allow yourself to become polarized as well? In fact, the healing process has many cathartic elements that can mirror destruction. Typically, the healing journey will not look pretty, nor is it linear, but it's necessary in order to draw out our blind spots, where we need our heart more open, where we need to develop clearer logic, where we still have cognitive dissonance, and where portions of our consciousness still need to awaken. I hope this has helped you better determine the organic elements of consciousness from the synthetic ones. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for higher dimensional guidance through spiritual awakenings. See you next time.